Twitter followers to participate in spreading the word. <clears throat> you can see here that within 24 hours, one day, a thousand dishes were already transcribed. And Rebecca and Ben reported being able to search across menus for the first time ever using the sample keyword search, mackerel. Holy mackerel is an expression in English of surprise, so that's why they chose mackerel for fish. Within one week, 60,000 dishes had been transcribed. Note the tactic that Rebecca and Ben used of repeatedly triggering status updates, press mentions, and questions from participants. This keeps the project lively and the participants engaged. Key factors if you have a project that is going to take a long time to complete and need a lot of participants. You do not want the commentary to die down because you run the risk of scaring away new participants who might think the project is ended or is no longer important. During that first week, interest in the menu's transcription project continued to build, generating press interest and attention from far beyond New York City. Here at the top, you see someone who is a Twitter follower of the Red Star Line Museum in Antwerp, letting them know that one of their menus is in our library's collection. I didn't even know that museum existed. But let's look closer at some of these tweets down here at the bottom. Children became involved. A fourth grade class at a school for deaf children in San Antonio, Texas, has been using menus.nypl.org to practice. 